I've never been a superstitious person, but I think that God, or whatever higher power and forces in the universe that bear forces upon serendipity, have brought certain people in my life for a reason. And if this is some little game where the app from outer space brings people into my vehicle, then so be it. Just like you meet people buying some donuts, going to a festival, giving people rides, um, that's been an extraordinarily amazing experience for me to say the least. Um, I do get starstruck having met Harvey Keitel, uh, Woody Allen, those kinds of things, you know, you, you, you Jerry Garcia, you know, you meet, uh, you, it, it's stunning, you know, when you see something like come to real life that like comes on the TV almost like a cartoon. But having that in the back seat of your car um, is a whole other experience because now the person's, you know, now you're giving them a ride and um, you're talking to them and, uh, I have to share certain things like um, and I don't I don't record these people out of respect and I don't think they would want to be recorded um, and um, I let them know that I'm not recording our conversation and um, I'm gonna not I'm gonna remain anonymous and not mention their names uh, but a few people in the past week or so have really stood out SWAT, the SWAT dude, um, you know, I, I got, I got shot at, too, I, uh, at a very young age, I got jumped when I was in second grade, I was shot at, um, real live fire, bullet whizzing over my head the first time at the age of 12, and subsequently have experienced, um, having to defend myself, but defend my life, many, many times, different places, and, um, I can relate to, uh, to that, and like I said, who doesn't want to be the superhero, that being said, I have so much respect for those that they call the bravest, you know, come on, man, you know, you gotta respect, um, you gotta respect cops, and you can't just hate on cops, okay, one, they're human beings, too, I understand, they take an oath, they become that part of that club, I get it, um, that being said, um, Once you know good pizza, I think may have been one of my father's girlfriends. And, uh, you know, that was interesting. Because um, I've just changed conversation. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm in the ocean and I'm feeling sad and I had this like experience like, yeah, I'll just, I will get caught in the rip current. You know, nah, fuck that. You know, almost did though. <laughs> And I really had to fight my way out of that. I was so exhausted by the time I got to the ocean. Every ounce of my body was drained. It was like, you know, fighting yourself away from drowning on purpose, like an asshole, like an idiot. And at that point, I think people, you know, I, I'm used to the lifeguards and the Coast Guard or whatever trying to yell at me or tow me out or whatever. At this point, they just did this dumb fuck, let him drown. And, um, because you can't not notice somebody in the ocean with this lighthouse, there's people on the beach, you know. And um, come out the water, saying, gosh, no matter how sad I feel or how lonely, depressed, and how much the pain doesn't go away about missing my parents, um, <clears throat> I feel grateful to be alive. And the ocean, nature, um, <clears throat> this place just like, I keep mentioning in the movie, the Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the Mohonk um, place is also a beautiful uh, spot. And uh, that being said, uh, I picked up uh, a woman who, like many friends of mine, has been suffering from Lyme disease. And um, it's extru excruciatingly painful. And if you don't have the right treatments, um, and know what you're doing and, and get the doxycycline early enough 
the damage can be so severe. Um, and it's like being on fire, having nerve damage. It's, it, you're, it nerve, it's extremely painful. Um, it can cause uh, severe depression. And I felt as, it, as if it was my responsibility. I don't know, maybe I'm an empath. I just feel that morally, being a good Samaritan, I had to talk this woman out of killing herself. She didn't want to go see the doctor that I was taking her to and she was contemplating suicide while we were talking and I took her to the hospital and the doctor the place where she needed to be told her to keep fighting she has her family and can get better and I advised her as best as I know what I do for nerve pain for chronic pain and I can totally relate to when somebody wants it to stop having had to administer morphine to both of my parents as they were dying made me realize how horrible and how painful um, death can be and there's a mercy in that and that's the evil in morphine and dope and, and all these drugs, these pharmaceuticals is that they suck the life right out of you in exchange for taking the pain away so it's no way to live and it's no way to be like a burden like that on, her, on your family. And she felt as if that's what was happening. And I said, no, you know, you're, you're, you're a mother. They're part of your family. They're doing this for you to help you. And um, maybe God put me in this woman's life to save her that, at that time. It was very emotionally. difficult um, but as a human being um, we have to do that for one another you can't you can't um, not give a shit about people I can't I don't know how else to explain that and that being said I will not mention the other kind of superhero shit. Um, because you know what? <laughs> it's just not as interesting as what I just talked about. But check this out, folks. Look at that. For some reason, my life, I, I'm, I'm going to have to go up on top of that one, I think. Um, I keep getting called back here. And when I was a kid, we believed that the tops of those where the Native American tribes that lived here uh, practiced these rituals. And it's trippy. It feels weird when you're on top of one of one, a certain, certain spot, especially that one. Um, I don't know if it's they chased a game off of there and they partied up there or what, but I think that's where a lot of UFO um, in the Hudson Valley sightings have been seen um, from on top of there. So stay tuned, folks. It's gonna get stranger! <laughs>